Let's go step by step and see what's involved in getting a Wi-Fi MIDI connection to our Mac. First thing, let's go over to our Applications folder. Go down to Utilities. And in this list, you'll see an application called Audio MIDI Setup. Let's click on that. And if a window does not initially come up, go up to Window and choose Show MIDI Window. The next thing you're going to do is click on IAC driver and there's going to be a little checkbox that's probably not checked. Device is online. You need to simply check that box and then close the window. The next thing you need to do is to check and make sure that your Mac and your iPad are both on the same Wi-Fi network. Here I'm looking at my iPad. I'm going to click on settings and see what Wi-Fi network the iPad is on. And here we see it's on a Wi-Fi network, Fancy Oak. So that's the network that I want to be on uh, on my Mac. Now I want to come back to the audio MIDI setup application on my Mac and click on the network icon. Uh, now I'm going to add a session. I'm going to uh, talk on port 5004 and enable that session. You see my Mac is on IP address 192.168.1.113. Now I'm going to come over and I'm going to turn my iPad on and it should be recognized here within this application. Turn the iPad on. Now we got a green light here saying that the iPad has been recognized. We simply click on that and hit connect. And you'll see it over here uh, showing up as a participant in the session. We've now established a Wi-Fi session between our iPad and our Mac. Now we can simply close uh, this window. The iPad app that I'm going to use to connect up over Wi-Fi is called Piano Harmony MIDI Studio Pro by Creative Music Ventures. I'm going to uh, fire that app up on my iPad and I'm going to talk to GarageBand and use that as an audio module to play the chords. So I'm going to fire up the iPad app. And um, make sure in the options panel you have MIDI on. If MIDI is not on, turn it on, close it down and restart the app. And the, the MIDI is not a default feature of the app. It's an add-on in in-app purchase. Uh, you have to go to our storefront and add core MIDI support and install that feature. Close the app down and restart it. Now once you have the core MIDI uh, feature installed, you can come over to our app and start playing these chords and hear them on GarageBand, but first you need to start up GarageBand. So let me come back over to the Mac, start up GarageBand, uh, say okay, uh, I want to use the piano voice. Okay, grand piano is the voice. Now I can just take my my iPad app and I can play through GarageBand. It's as simple as that. And I believe the setup is the same with uh, most other applications in terms of you getting a Wi-Fi connection uh, from your iPad to an application on your Mac. So what I have now is a Wi-Fi connection from my iPad to GarageBand and I can play this app.
Thanks a lot. <laughs>